Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. It's a joy for us to come into your homes. And if any of you are in our area, please stop by. You're always welcome. Today I'm trying something different. We're on pizza again. Today I have Fleischmann's Rapid Rise Instant Yeast. And this is some fresh stuff that my dad sent in a box about a month ago. And we're going to go back to this brand of flour here. I've got some water here that's pretty hot. Probably 120 or so, be my guess. Might be a little too hot, I'm not sure. But what I want to do is I want to, I want to proof this yeast, if I can here. And she's got Shan here is going to help me. To do a little filming. It's easier with someone to hold the camera. This is always the first step when you're making the, the pizza. It's just gonna. Kind of weird looking stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Little pellets. Almost like dust. Yeah, kind of weird looking. Okay, two packages of that. And then I'll throw in a. Just to help the yeast. Because it likes. I know they like sugar. I'll put in. One and a half tablespoons of sugar. Take the bugs out. <laughs> and a lot of recipes say just throw the salt in there with it too, but I've heard that kind of uh, affects the the yeast a little bit. And I can't remember if you put flour in there or not. Sometimes people put flour in the in the yeast too, but I'm not going to. I'm going to check the water here again. Isn't that hot? It's pretty hot. It's got to be about 115 or 120. You can stand that hot on your hand? Okay. One. Two. Three. Spoon. And we're just hoping for it to foam, hoping for it to foam up a little bit. Whether instant rice does or instant yeast does that or not, I'm not sure. Make sure it's not stuck in the bottom. I'll put that off to the. Let's put that off to the side. And we'll put some flour in here. This is cream all-purpose flour. I don't know if it makes a difference if you use bread flour or cake flour or this is all I have at my disposal. Or I have other stuff called, what was it? Ram. Class 1. Class 1? So what is it? Class A? Yeah, class, class, yeah, class a. 1, class 3 stuff. I don't know. And I'm going to put in 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven. They don't have to be perfect. And um, the eighth one, I'll put in after we get it going, if it needs it to keep it from being too sticky. Then for salt, 
got, what I have here? Teaspoon. I'm going to put in two teaspoons of salt. Okay. And that's where I got yeast on it. Not going to make any difference. Mix this up a little bit. Kind of make a spot for the yeast. And we'll be back in about 10 minutes. Oh, we're still messing around with the flour, getting ready to put the yeast in. This time we've got about a quarter inch of foam. So that might be something. Murphy's out here. She's got a small jackfruit. No! Got a dog trying to chew on my bed thing on the, the bike over there. That's some nasty stuff there, boy. <laughs> How can be? Nasty. Nasty as can be. Jeez. Love, we'll save that for later. Remove the skin first. Full of vitamins. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. Vitamin, vitamin blah, huh? It's not blah. <laughs> vitamin B. It's good, but it's ripe. Yuck. Oh, no. Stinks so bad. What well, makes me want to puke? I can't smell it. Can't stand it when we get it on our trees. Oh, no. Half of them run up rotten and. Well, that was a close chop there where you had it aimed at, huh? Yeah. Any small pieces? Is it where I need Jump broke. Soup. Jackfruit soup, huh? Good for you. I use coconut, cocoa milk, coconut milk, that. Good for you. Better you than me. Remove the center part. Well, what part do you leave? No, it's. You cannot eat this one. You can only eat where the, where the seed is at. The Skin of this outside of this. So this is a subo. This one. This one. You can. It doesn't have any under. Yeah, good for you. This one. It's the Look at that, it's foaming up. Oh, it's getting thicker now, huh? Look at that. I think it's working this time. Look at that. Now we got almost a half inch. That's what I thought. Cool. Jump that? Yeah, that's the fresh stuff. Uh, the other stuff, the other stuff three to four years old. Really foaming up. I'm looking forward to some pizza tonight. Oh. Running out of all my other food. Our freezer's empty and... Your finger and slice that. When it's young like that, just for cooking, not for eating, or what? Mm. Yeah. Mm. You need that. Man, I'm watching, watching where you aim with your knife and where you're cutting. You're, it's two different places. You're gonna lose a finger one of these days. Uh -huh. Jesus. Why? <laughs> Starting to get darker again. Uh, it's like rain. Oh, yeah. It's a rain. Yeah, thanks for the rain and thanks for all the mosquitoes. No one no has hot, water no. when it rains because the water from the, the thing that they pay for they, doesn't come up anymore. It's once in a while. <laughs> it's that one? The city water. Oh yeah. <laughs> what a rip off. They had to pay to get it all hooked up and it doesn't even work. 
pay big, the minimum. Big, big surprise. Seventy-five. For nothing, though. It's what's that? Two months. That one month. One, one month. month. Yeah, they're the. And what? Like, they're at the very end of the line. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ring. They'll be coming. That's all right. It's the beauty of having a little bitty roof here. We'll be undercover, so. Oh, here it is coming. I can hear it now. Okay. Look at the camera. What? It flies out of here for some reason. Looks like a oh. looks like a bowl of beer. Oh. He's running for cover. Horse is over there, though. Come on, boys. June 1, it started raining. Poured last night. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon on June 5th right now. I guess I better get the garden going tomorrow. Get some more seeds in. Take advantage of the moisture, I guess. Warming up good. And has got her raincoat on. Oh, about ready to mix this up or what? Shan, Shan likes to mix stuff. So you can hold this quick. Don't get it wet. Mix her up. Now slow don't don't let it splash in the face or anything, okay? I'm on the battery here, but Jan is mixing up the foamy yeast with the flour and salt. Wind coming in here, still raining. Better hold down just a little closer to the bottom there. You better leverage. There you go. Get around the outside, good. Scrape the outside. There you go. Somebody cooked their breakfast today and didn't turn off the gas. I wonder who that was. Hmm. <laughs> no big deal. Shouldn't leak, but you just never know. Wow, it's really coming down now. Oh, good job, kid. Yeah, it smells like bread. Yeah, it smells real yeasty, doesn't it? That's what you're looking for. I noticed the other day when we reheated the pizza that had the beer in it, the dough had a taste to it. When it was fresh out of the oven, no taste, but out of the microwave it had a kind of a beer a beer taste to it, so we're gonna stay away from that. 
Take it off your spoon. Oh, it's warm. Yeah. Yeah, we use about 120 degree water today, 115. Make it do a big softball looking thing. Oh, it must be, must be 86 in the rain here. I'm freezing. Oh. It is. <laughs> I was going to rig up a fan out here for when we're baking. So that'd be nice. A little thunder? Yeah. You need to stick together a little bit or what? We need one big ball, not little balls. Just gonna add it to it, huh? It's an interesting technique. And again, this is tag team pizza. Yeah, that's not doing anything. Just push it down together is what I do. There's more on top. Stick it down. There you go. Need a little more weight behind those pushes. That's, that's the one advantage I got on you guys. I have nothing for me to push it down and squash it. Actually, that's, that's looking just perfect. Is it sticky at all? A little bit. It's sticky, then we just put a... Make just a little flower on there. Oh, the flower feels good. <laughs> the <hand. laughs> Flip her over once. Gotta keep pushing it flat and then folding it over and pushing it flat so you don't knock it off the table. <laughs> Filipinos are afraid of the rain. Never understood that. Maybe they'll they're afraid. They're afraid of the rain and afraid of the sun. Maybe they'll melt like the witch in the Wizard of Oz. Mm, I doubt that. Getting tired yet? No. Keep going then, you're doing good? I think I beat mom. <laughs> well, mom, mom lasted about 30 seconds. You've been doing it for a couple minutes now. Actually, six minutes. Oh. Let's get poured it in. It's fun. Okay. I think it needs to be pushed a little deeper, but that's okay. To start. Shannon got, <laughs> Shannon did the whole thing today. Look at that. A little oil on it. Nice ball. So we'll come back in another 45 minutes to an hour. And I'm hoping it doubles in size like it's supposed to. That'd be fantastic for our pizza today. And then we'll punch it down and make some pizzas, huh? Yay. I'm really looking forward to it today. All right, it's been about 45 minutes. It looks like it raised up a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Hard to tell. I think I'll just knock it down. Oh, yeah, I think it raised up a little bit. Let go another 20 minutes or so and start making some pizzas. All right, I think it, I think it rose quite a bit. This is pretty thick. So I think I'm going to try to, instead of third this time, I'm going to quarter it, I guess. So 
see how it works out. Power is out here again. So we're trying to get this whipped up here before dark. It's thick, button. Hmm? It seems pretty thick, doesn't it? Mm. It's, it feels much softer, too, than it did before. So, I don't know what the secret is about s spreading this stuff out here. I'm pretty weak. You know, they say you can throw it and spin it and stuff like that. I don't even want to think about that. I mean, let's just work it out to the edge, I guess. The hole in the center of it. Is that the open one? Yeah, so we have to do that. Okay, should be still good then. I'm cooking with my jackfruit soup. Oh, lucky soup. you, huh? Jackfruit soup, huh? Mm -hmm. Can't imagine. What's the English of that one? What's that? Jackfruit with coconut milk. <laughs> you don't want to know what I, what I think of it, so. <laughs> I can't imagine there's no such thing in America, huh? Oh. Get the juice out of it? Yes. Cheese? Yeah. Okay. Grinder. Okay, tomato sauce first. Yeah. I think I'll make the first one half and half. You wash your hand yesterday? Oh no, I forgot to, sir. Oh, that's... Mm. Shouldn't be too big a deal. My side just gets... just gets dusted with the tomato sauce. I don't really care for it, but i got to have it for a little taste. Mom Cece said it. A pizza is looks delicious. <laughs> it is. It is delicious. It's been very turned out very well. I would say each yeah. time. Yeah. I guess paper towel rolls as holder, whatever you want to call it, roller. All right. So we're just having just plain cheese pizza again. We don't have any meat. Shouldn't matter too much. Like Shannon said, you should not even miss the meat on the, the last one the other day we made with a package dough. It's good. Lovely. Don't eat. Don't eat it. Okay. Go out there and open the oven up just a little bit to see if it's still on fire. Having a problem with it popping off when we first start. Come on, you're still on fire. Fire? The bottom one. How about the top one? No. It's off? Yeah. Wow, I don't understand that. <laughs> Gotta have it on to get it heat, heated up enough so we can cook. The dog's barking at the rooster. You know what he's doing? Yeah. Maybe they're getting fed up. Looks pretty easy. Huh? Mm. 
Okay, that's good. Alright, I just put the first one in. This is the second one here. Just cheese only, light sauce. Can't wait. And I decided instead of making quarters, I divided the three fourths into half. So these, this one's real nice and thick. And I'll make a, a third one, a third one for the freezer. Can't wait. All right, there's the first one in. This time I'm shooting for 500 degrees. I'm gonna try to keep it there. I've got the top burner on just a little bit, and we'll see how that works out. Got a little thicker dough this time. That's not quite done. I think slid over a little bit on me. Sorry about that, guys. My side's just about brown. <laughs> Probably from the top heat. Yeah, that's good. All right. Well, looks pretty good, I guess. We're gonna stay outside here because it's no electricity. It's almost dark. I'm gonna turn the upper burner back on again to get the temperature up. That's okay, I guess. What do you think? Not too bad. Slid a little bit on me. I bought some aluminum pans and tubing in the other day. I thought maybe as long as we use the parchment paper, they'll probably work okay. I'm not sure. I think I'll bake them one time, one or two times in the oven. Give me a little oil on them, kind of season them up. I think that's what I'll do. So that's Get another cheese, Shannon. That's the pizza. Looks so delicious. Wow. And this one, this our that's for me and Shannon. We have um with uh, pineapple. Mine are uh, that one also. Mm. Still hot. We will wait for it to cool down. Mm. Uh, it's another batch here. It's 450. What? 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 What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? it? What's it? Degrees. Ay, kalami. Go back again to the pizza. That is really good. He's uh, uh, his expert of making pizza. Uh, Shannon oh, can't wait. What do you think, Tweety Pie? Looks very good. Ah, good. Alright, we're outside here with our last little bit of light. It's almost 6 o'clock. Nice one. <laughs> They're exactly even. Mm -hmm. Can sit there? Whatever, sit down. Thank you, Dad. I love you so much. I need some salt. What I really need, but I'll have one piece without salt, I guess. Can sit down. Just, just have a taste there and see if it's any good. Perfect temperature. Pass your test or what? Good. Sure. So delicious, Dad. Okay, here's mine. Mmm. Oh. All the dogs lined up. Delicious. Needs a little salt, but. Got one more pizza here to take out and way brown. Must be because I'm cooking a little too hot this time. Gotta get it back down to four four forty what we had before. Four seventy five right now. Good?
All right, I guess another successful pizza for us. This is this one was made with the newer yeast, and it's the the dough is definitely fluffier. Um, I'm gonna cook the very last one at a little lower temperature. See if we can keep it from burning the cheese. I, I really don't like the cheese like that myself, but all right, power's still out. I'm having the half of the pizza, a plate of rice, and I'm gonna have this other pizza I think for my dinner. Got one more in the oven cooking right now. Can you keep an eye on that out there? Mm, no problem. Okay, when it starts getting it brown at all, tell me. Mm. All, right. all right, well, that's all we have for now. Please click like and subscribe. You can contact us anytime at blindowloutdoors at gmail.com. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless. God bless everyone. Have a great day.